the lecture, I'm going to do the sum of prime numbers using C sharp language. So this code that I already written. So the important thing is to understand the code. So here you can see uh, using system namespace. So this namespace required because uh, the definition of uh, console dot right line and console dot red line method that comes inside there. So that system namespace that is required. Now after that uh, here this is the namespace and class program. If you debug the code then control comes to main method then after that go inside. So here I have taken integer type variable num and sum. So this is now num and the next is sum. So sum initialize with the zero. Then console dot write line. So this display into the output screen. Enter five numbers. Then control comes to for loop. Here you can use uh, while do while also. So there i that is initialized to, to zero. Then check the condition i less than 5 0 less than 5 condition is true then that go inside if the condition is true then that go inside num equal to int dot parse so console dot red line that take the input from the keyword so this is now a string so after using int dot parse that convert into integer so here that take the input from the keyword okay or user so console dot red line that's work and thereafter whatever the input like uh, 5 5 is now a string so here this is now a string so that convert into integer so 5 is integer that is stored to num so this is here 5 then here i am using sum equal to sum plus num so this we can write sum equal to sum plus num okay sum equal to sum plus num so sum value is now 0 0 plus 5 that is 5 okay so this is now sum is 5 thereafter loop that continue so loop that continue then control comes to there and this place i gonna increase so i is now 1 1 less than 5 condition is true that coincide so num equal to n dot pass so this time going to enter the num value is now 3 so 3 that is a string that convert into integer with the help of n dot pass so num is now this time 3. So here sum equal to sum plus num. So sum is now 5, 5 plus 3 that is 8. So new value of sum is now 8. After that, that go up, increase the value of i. So i is 2 now. 2 less than 5, condition is 2, that go inside. So this time going to enter 2. So console dot red line, 2 input string. Then after it convert into integer, then here this is now num value is now 2. And sum equal to sum plus num. So sum value is now 8, 8 plus 2, 10. Then after i gonna increase, so i is 3 now. So 3 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincide. So this times here going to input 1. So num value is now 1, that uh, and then after sum equal to sum plus num. So 10 plus 1, that is 11. Then after that coincides, i is increased. So i is 4 now, 4 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincide. So this time, so here console dot line that take the input from the keyword. So this time going to enter four. Okay. So for that convert into integer and store into num. So num value is now four. Sum equal to sum plus num. So eleven plus four that is fifteen. Then after that go increase. So i value is now five. Five less than five. That condition is false. So condition is false. So that all from the this for loop control comes to this point console dot right line and there that display the sum of five numbers and plus some values so some value is now 15 that concatenate so this displays sum of five numbers uh, colon 15 then after console dot read line, so it it's uh, waiting uh, to take the input from the keyword and uh, then that terminate the output is great so this is how that code works. So this is the way we can here calculate sum of 5 numbers. So if you want to calculate sum of 10 numbers, here you need to give in place of 5, 10. If you want to calculate sum of 4 numbers, you need to give here in 5 place 4. Okay, so if you add this on, so this equal to 15. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. That's all.
so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you